This is Skip from the WSGF. Um, and I wanted to share with everybody some product arrivals that we've had. Um, it's basically been like Christmas around here the last couple of weeks. Um, from Club 3D, we've received a 290X, a 270X, and then over here is a 285. And they've also reached out to AMD on our behalf to get us a 295X2. We already have on hand, which would slot in right here in between these two, a 290, no X, and a 280X. So this basically gives us the full stack all the way from the 270X all the way around up to the 295X2. Our plan here, rather than just traditional benchmarking, is to look at performance by card at different setups for specific games at different game settings. So if you play multi-monitor Battlefield 4 and you want um, you want to play on very high settings and get 60 frames a second, which card do you need for that? Um, if you want to just play on high settings, or if you want to play on an ultra wide, or if you want to go 4K, what do you need? I mean, we already know from our um, initial 4K testing that a 290, um, in a lot of instances, is not enough horsepower. But what if you want to go single screen at 120 hertz, so you want to hit 120 frames a second? So we now have the full stack that will allow us to do really that more in-depth analysis and leave the traditional reviews to other sites. Uh, so what we need from you is what games do you want us to look at first? Um, is Battlefield 4 still at the top of the list? Is there something new coming out that you want us to take a look at? Um, is it Titanfall? Is it a crisis title? Far Cry? Um, let us know and we'll start putting things in the queue and start putting that analysis together for you. So here we've got some more equipment that's come in. Um, if you saw, we recently did a review of the 3x1 MST hub that um, Club 3D originally did. Here's the updated version, then the 4x1, and then the 2x1 that's USB powered. All of these have the updated chips. They all have the reset button. Um, I'm gonna look at this one to see if it will do uh, 3x1 Ifinity plus the accessory display. And then we're actually gonna give these away. Uh, uh, to some lucky users on the forum. And then here I've got a USB 3.0 to 4K adapter um, that allows you to run a 4K display off USB 3.0. Obviously not gonna be suited for gaming, but may work if you've got a 4K panel and say a laptop that you bring home from work or something. So we're gonna give this a spin and tell you what we think. Next thing we've got um, here is our DK2 from Oculus. Um, it just came in, uh, just opening the box here today and uh, you can see it in here. I actually didn't get to play with the original one that we got off the Kickstarter. I, I didn't have enough um, cycles, as they would say, when it initially shipped. So I gave it to uh, some local guys here off the forum, uh, the Destroyer, Zinside, and Peanut. They put it through the paces and, and posted some stuff about that. But I'm really excited to have the updated one uh, that is much improved. Uh, I'm looking to put, I believe it's World of Oceans through its paces, a diving simulator, and Euro Truck Simulator 2. If there's something else that you want us to look at, then we'll be certainly happy to do that. We're gonna pass it around the local guys again, and we're gonna see if we can get together for maybe an event uh, here in the Houston area. So we got a lot of content coming, video cards, MST hubs, and the Oculus DK2.